how to texture an object created in SketchUp. Um, specifically, this is going to be an object that will be used in the X-Plane flight simulator, but it could apply to just about anything that you wanted to do in SketchUp. Um, on the left screen here is the model I've created. Uh, this is a UPS building in KDFW Dallas-Fort Worth International. And it's just the bare model here. You can model as much as you want, um, but you just don't want to start texturing anything until you've completed the model and you have all of your textures that you're going to use consolidated into one PNG file because explain through this plugin here in SketchUp will only recognize one single texture file. On the right is the uh, geolocation page from SketchUp also. Uh, the reason I have this open is because I try to sometimes trace the model out using the, the rectangle tool or the draw tool, um, but for some reason uh, SketchUp doesn't like to trace these things exactly. Um, you can't get an exact line from straight at point A to point B. Um, so I've, what I've found is instead of hassling with that, basically I just keep this open. I use the tape measuring tool and I get my dimensions from this window here and then I recreate the portions of the model over here on this side. Seems to be a lot more accurate and a lot faster for me. Okay, so my texture file is over here. I'm going to bring it up real quick. Okay, and here it is, and it's not pretty. Uh, this is my first one, so I probably could have done a lot more optimization, um, but hey, you know, first time go around. Um, you can have them, your individual texture images oriented any direction you want. Uh, it's just uh, you, once you start texturing it in SketchUp here, you can rotate and scale these to match your, your faces. Okay, so let's get that out of the way. All right, so for the UPS building here, I'm going to just do one, and the principles are the same from that on. I'm going to texture this basic part right here. Now, when I got the texture image here, I looked at the UPS building and said, okay, the, the roof is basically the same all around. So what I did is I took this section right here and said, you know what, I can take that one here. I can reposition the individual texture to make all of these other sections look the same uh, and at the same time give them some variability while not having to have a separate texture image to do all these other portions as well. Save some VRAM space. Okay, so I've got my model open and what I'm going to do here is in SketchUp I'm going to go to File and then I'm going to Import Okay, and it gives you the drop down box where you select your texture file. Yeah, my mouse can catch up with me. Alright, and my texture file is dfw underscore textures. As you can see, it's kind of large right now. Um, maybe I'll fix that next time around. And I'm going to import it. You have to make sure that use as texture is selected as an option. Okay, so it doesn't look like anything happened, but once you move your mouse, you're already in paint bucket mode. And what you want to do is you want to pull your graphic down to the corner. Okay, and then you click there to position it. Right, and then once you let go of the click, you start dragging away and it expands your texture image to fill that face, that surface. And you go up to the other edge and click it and that basically locks the texture in place. So now what we have to do is instead of seeing all this in our texture, we have to position it so we only see this portion here. So we're going to right click on that particular face go down to the texture option and click position. Now it's kinda hard to see your model behind all of this but once you get the hang of it. Um, okay you notice that there are four pins around here at the different corners. Right? Red one is the positioning pin and what you can do is you click on a pin 
and you bring it up to the texture image that you want to use and put it on a corner and then you click on it again to drop it back into place and then the same thing with the blue and then the yellow and then the green and each of these pins has a different function and we'll see those in a second alright so now we're going to since this is the positioning pin what I'm going to do is I'm going to click it and drag it over to the bottom corner of my texture or my uh, model face now normally you would start off in the lower left hand corner or upper left hand corner something like this but since this texture here is positioned this way you know, I want it to turn it up the other way here so I'm going to use the green pin grab that and drag it and then it's going to rotate and scale the image so now I'm going to drag it all the way up to the top corner there and the pin should snap in place for me okay let me have to do some fine tuning but basically now my texture image is in the right spot now we just have to do the fine tuning to get it perfect okay so you notice that my image is quite off the face so I'm gonna click and lift the pin again and bring it over to the corner drop it again and then drag it onto the corner and it snaps into place and I zoom out and do the same thing with the other four pins Bring it up to the corner again and then drop it into place. Oops. Zoom out the wrong way. Okay, same thing with the yellow. time for me to reboot my computer and get things unclutched and get a little speed back and then the blue and then sheer okay so now I've got all four pins in place I've got the texture the direction that I want it to be let's make one last check up top okay everything looks good Alright, once you've got your texture positioned the way you want it and in the direction, you press the enter key and that snaps it into place and hides the rest of it. And you can click someplace else to, to take away the dots and it looks like I've got to adjust it a little bit more. So we go back through the same procedure, right click on it, texture, position, and my blue is off a little bit okay I made the adjustment press enter click somewhere else and voila we have a textured surface and so what you do is you just basically follow that procedure again and again and again until you get your model completely textured and that's pretty much it and thanks for listening